story of the day, and it's about climate change. The reason why hot in here is now considered a scientific study. <laughs> yes, all over the world, governments are steadily taking action to reduce their carbon emissions. In fact, just today, President Biden signed the biggest climate change law in American history. <laughs> yes. it, it does everything. It, it subsidizes electric cars, it funds wind and solar energy, and it changes the name of summer to extra spring. Hopefully, <laughs> Mother Nature falls for that one. And the reason leaders worldwide have taken these steps is because every day we're seeing what the world could look like if climate change gets out of hand. I mean, just look at what's happening in Vegas. You, you know Las Vegas, yeah? The city surrounded by deserts that are filled with buried mobsters, that place? <laughs> well, some of those bodies, oh, they're about to come floating back to life. Las Vegas is getting pounded with historic flooding in the wettest monsoon season they've seen in a decade. It's hard to tell this is the famous Las Vegas Strip, but that's Caesar's Palace right there, and that is the Mirage. It's raining inside Planet Hollywood, pouring through the casino light fixtures. Also, right underneath the high roller Ferris wheel. The Las Vegas Strip has been swept by flash flooding. This rain coming down so fast, so heavy. This is video from Las Vegas in a parking garage. It's a downpour right onto the gambling tables. You can see that car struggling to get through the water on a street. Yes, that is a man floating down the Vegas Strip because of the flash flood waters. That guy's a legend. <laughs> He's just like, yeah! <laughs> oh, you see that? Las Vegas of all places, is getting flooded. And you know who I blame for this? All the bachelor parties going to those strip clubs being like, make it rain, look at what you did! I hope you're happy it rained. It rained too much. And if there's one thing we can all agree on, people, it's that we don't want casinos to flood. All right? Because can you imagine how hard it's gonna be to evacuate those gamblers? Water level is rising, guys! We're gonna be drowned any minute! Which is just enough time for a couple more rolls! Come on, baby! Come on! Daddy could use some arm floaties! Come on! So, yes. Las Vegas has been wetter than a crack at Soul Cycle, but it's not just Vegas. We've seen historic floods recently in St. Louis, in Yellowstone, in Kentucky, and this is the thing to remember about climate change. It's not just gonna make everything a little bit hotter, all right? It's gonna make all weather more extreme. The hot will get hotter, the wet will get wetter, the wind will get winder, the, 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 the wet will like swap places with the dry, yeah, and then you, you're gonna think that you're talking too hot, but then the hot will pull off its mask and it'll be like, ha, I'm cold, and you'll be like, ha, but we slept together. It's basically science. <laughs> and you're wondering, you're like, ah, oh, it's a bit of flooding, is it that bad? Well, over in California, things could get even worse than you think. Now to the new warning on climate change. Experts say it's only a matter of time before a mega flood hits California, displacing millions of people. A new study shows that climate change is increasing the likelihood of a cataclysmic flood hitting in the next 50 years. The flood could turn California's lowlands into an inland sea, putting parts of cities such as Sacramento, Fresno, and Los Angeles underwater. It happened in Sacramento in 1861. This is incredible, and I really didn't know much about this. Only 500,000 people lived in the Central Valley. Today, it's 37 million. 30 feet of water in all of Central Valley for weeks. It rained for 43 days, the equivalent of a trillion dollars in today's damage. They say the next one would probably be like a Katrina times five. Oh my God, Katrina times five. That's like 356. <laughs> You carry the K, then the point is it's bad. <laughs> and we can't lose Los Angeles. 